now. It can be a fatal disease to your brand new puppy or kitten, parvovirus. In Eight on Your Side tonight, we connect with a local veterinarian on the steps you need to take to keep that puppy or kitten remaining safe. Dr. Jamie Augenstein of Oasis Animal Hospital in Henderson says over the past five years, vets across the country are seeing new cases of parvovirus emerge. Just last month, 30 dogs in northern Michigan died from a mysterious illness that had parvo-like symptoms. Initial parvo tests came back negative and then ultimately came back as parvo. Parvo has is, is been changing recently. Vets monitor outbreaks in other states as it's just a matter of time before they work their way across the country because we're such a transient society. And it's very easy for an animal to pick up parvo. They get it by ingestion, right? So they come across it, they step in it, they lick their paw, but they ingest the virus, gets into their GI tract, it actually attacks um, the GI tract, gets absorbed into the, the bloodstream, from there, it actually goes to the immune system and actually suppresses the immune system. The virus causes vomiting, fever, severe diarrhea, and extreme dehydration, which can kill an animal within two to three days. So prompt veterinary attention is crucial, as is a complete set of vaccines for your puppy or kitten. The new recommendations are they be vaccinated out to 20 weeks. So their last vaccine should be at 20 weeks of age, and Parvo is actually the reason that that recommendation came about. Until your puppy or kitten is fully vaccinated by 20 weeks, minimize their exposure to other people and animals. Keep it to people you know who are healthy, other pets that are healthy, etc. until your puppy or kitten's immune system matures.